What's up guys, your boy Jay from Jay's Films and today I'm gonna go over some pre-flight checklists before flying your new DJI Mavic Air drone. Uh, it's gonna be real quick, just pretty much some things that you have to look out for before taking off, especially if you're new at flying drones. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna look out for is unfolding the legs of the drones or the wings, whatever you wanna call it. Not like the DJI Spark where they just kinda spread out. This one, the back kinda spreads down and out, kind of like that. So that's kind of weird, but it's cool in a, in a way because it's different. And then the front ones are the same as the old ones. You just kind of flip it out. And after that, you have to make sure your landing gear is also moved down. So go ahead and twist it down just like that. And your drone is ready as far as wings and legs goes. The second thing you're gonna wanna look out for is the camera cover. I already tried flying with this thing on and it's not a good thing so make sure you pop this off before you take flight because I'm pretty sure it's going to throw away or it's going to throw off your balance on your drone and you're probably going to crash it so make sure you take this off before flying. I'm just going to put this back so it doesn't get any dust stuff in there. Next thing you want to check are the propellers. Make sure they're in there correctly. Make sure they're locked in, they're not wobbly. Make sure they're placed in there properly. Uh, it comes like this shipped, but just double check before you fly be just because it shifted when uh, they were shipping your drone to you. So yeah, make sure that's good to go, spin it, whatever. Next step we're going to do is make sure your battery is seated properly on the back. The DJI Spark had a massive issue with this because the battery would pop off mid-flight and people would lose their drone. It's really bad. So make sure when you're installing your battery that it would actually snap. You're looking at the pins, two pins, and then just like this and you got to hear it snap. See there, snap. It's good to go, locked in tight. That's awesome. Next thing that you're gonna wanna check is your memory card. Make sure you have a memory card in there. I've, you know, I've taken off without memory cards before, so that's a really common error for new, dr uh, new drone flyers like me. The next thing you're gonna look at is the camera. I know it's already covered, but make sure that there's no fog or dirt or any boogers in there before you take off because that's gonna suck. This thing only has 21 minute flight time. You don't wanna have to bring it down because it's foggy or it has a little bit of dirt. So make sure before you take off and put it down that it is clear and you're good to go before taking off. Now we're gonna move on to the remote control. Okay, so what we're gonna look at now is your pre-flight checklist with the actual remote controller itself. Make sure that you have battery, and I forgot to tell you, make sure you have battery in the drone as well. But make sure you have full battery by just pressing this power button. You're just gonna see, you're gonna show your levels or your battery right there. Next thing you're gonna do is make sure that your antennas are properly aligned like this. Now DJI wants you to do it kind of like this and not like this for maximum range. So just leave it like that because that's what the maker said to do it. The next thing you're gonna do is unfold your remote control and make sure you have the right cable. The DJI, DJI provided you with like three different cables for this remote control, so make sure you grab the right one before you leave your house and try it on, because if not, it's gonna suck for you going to your shoot and not having the proper cable. You just gotta make sure this cable is seated in your, cam uh, in your cell phone and you should be good to go. You also have to install this thing here, which is removable. And the DJ Spark, it wasn't. That's kind of a cool add-on. Make sure you install that properly, just right and tight. And that's pretty much it. Holy crap, I still have the plastic on mine. All right, so that's the remote control. Okay, so now we went over some drone pre-flight checklist and some remote control checklist. But the last thing you're probably gonna wanna do is calibrate your drone everywhere you go. It doesn't take that long. Make sure you do it. So my next video is gonna be a pre-flight checklist on the actual camera settings itself before you fly up and start shooting. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later.